we discussed in our previous videos about the stages of life. In the stage, stages of life, we discussed one most important topic, it was infancy. The child, the infants, prenatal, after natal. So, how they grow, how they start learning. And now, today, in this video, it is in continuation of that video, we are going to discuss what changes occur since middle age. And since middle age, what we call this one, it is mid age syndrome. So, what is mid age syndrome? This is the most important. The people who are in between 40 years to 60 years, and some of the social scientists classified 35 years to 65 years, they face this kind of syndrome situation, what we call this one mid age syndrome. Now, what is a mid age syndrome? Mid age syndrome is a gradual shift, shift in identity that sometimes affects middle aged adults. It generally occurs in the adults between 40 years of age and 60 years of age. The American Psychological Association, Association defines middle age, middle adult begins at the age of 35 or 36 till 20, 60 years to 65 years of age. So, this middle age syndrome occurs between 35 to 65 as per one theory. The other theory is that one between 40 years to 60 years. So, what is the most important this middle age syndrome? What are the symptoms? what changes occur and how it impacts our life is the most important we are going to discuss and what are the remedial measures we have to take because when you have a problem you have to understand the solution also so that you can be ready with the solution you can practice. Modern social scientists generally agree that Midlife begins around 35 to 40 and ends around 55 to 60 or 65. This is the general theory of acceptance by the psychological associations all over the world. It varies, but minimum 35 to 60, 36 and it is between 60 to 65, whatever may be. So, during this period of time, the most important is the adult brain seems to be capable of rewriting itself well into middle age. So, it accepts the middle age. It understands that it has passed through the youthful stage. So, it rewrites itself. That means, it gets ready to face the middle age problems, the mind is so active. So, this middle age, what happens? It gathers, it enriched with all its previous experiences. So, the middle age is one, one kind we can say that one, it is a lot with lots of experience and behavior. So, only we say that one maturity level, the maturity level increases what they say for most of the people. And middle aged mind is calmer, very calm, less neurotic, and better able to sort through social situations. So, those people who are in the middle age, 
they know how to drive themselves in the social complexities and also professional complexities because they have reached to one kind of one level of thought the mind has reached to the maturity level so it equips him with it equips him or her with maturity some middle aged have improved cognitive abilities also logical reasoning improves thinking improves and also they can understand things very easily most of the cases you see this general phenomena so we are discussing rare cases may be there so let us not be bothered about the rare cases but the general syndrome so we are discussing and in this middle age the age generally in some of the cases triggers jobless and health concerns also so some people they become jobless and also for some of the people it causes health issues also so middle age is the starting point for this this kind of problems generally during this period of time when in the middle age that means when they are in between 35 to 60 65 the general thing is that one they may lose their parents it's very very common because their parents are minimum 20 to 24 years elder to them so between 35 to 65 when they reach naturally parents is aging is more so as a result they may lose their parents or else if they survive also their parents will survive with acute illness that means completely bedridden because of the aging so please don't take it as a, a negative but in most of the cases it happens like that one so that's what the so as a result of it uh, the this middle age is one of the crucial because they are going to lose because they lived with their parents for a long period of time whatever may be the whatever may be the parent the parents impact on their child is very very important so such very important person who was influencing their life who was influencing their thoughts their behavior and all that one who brought them up so such parents lose it is a big shock to them it's a one kind of a psychological setback for them so they must be in a position to withstand this human loss or they have to understand the pain the most those the parents who are mostly ill because when you are coming to the age group of 40 to 60 65 then what happens your parents are crossing a 60 70 80 90 years of age so generally these are the situations they may not be in a position to walk so they require help they don't remember things they forget lots of things they recognize only their children except their own children they can't recognize anyone else so this is the very pertinent situation pathetic situation you have to face and that should not impact your personal life your professional life that means what i want to say is this emotional disturbance you must be in a position to withstand so you should have high levels of emotional balance decide your own family that side parents who are very ill or or else anything else at that side your upbringing of your own children and your increasing responsibilities so we have lots of stress and emotional disturbances so you must be in a position to face all this and also for more, some of the people certain parts of the brain shrink when they cross 
50, 55, 60, 65, then what happens? Their parts of the certain parts of the brain shrink. That is because there is aging. The organs in the body has worked over time. Lots of work they did. As a result, it starts a kind of aging. And also, because of this reason, the middle age syndrome, the most important is the blood flow in the brain may decrease. Blood flow in the brain may decrease. It also causes inability to remember such as the location of objects and some most important appointments you may forget. So, bones tend to shrink, bones tend to shrink and also they weaken and it is susceptible to fractures. And in most of the cases, body weight and mass increases during the middle age. Face appearance changes during the middle age. Here, please remember, middle age means we are talking from 35 years to 65 years age we are discussing. So, it is very natural. And the hair color also changes. Or hair fall is very common. These are the common symptoms what you find. And due to this one, you should be very much understanding self-sufficiency, dependency, crisis management and at last end of life. So, these are the aging causes. And one most important phenomena you find in this one, tissues loss. Tissues loss means reduces the amount of water in our body. So, tissue loss is because of the reduce of the amount of water in our body. The first physical change is skin damage from sun, sun exposure, loss of muscle and physical strength, loss of sight and hearing, change in, in our sleep patterns and also our energy level changes, our appetite also changes, decreases or increases, whatever it may be, it also changes. It is in the women, the first and foremost is out of all the parts of the body, it is the breasts which start a big change because it is, it is completely made with tissues and all that one. As a result of it, the breast changes. You find changes in the breast. And generally during this age of, age, age of time, middle age syndrome, anxiety, depression, emotional disturbance are very common. Now, how to cope with all this situation is the most important. I told you, anxiety is very, very common. So, where anxiety is there, automatically the side impact is that one. It may lead to depression or disappointment. Because of that one, emotional balance you have to develop yourself. And we know that, we know that one, there will be decrease of supply of blood to the brain. So, for that what you have to do is, we have to do pranayama and also sirshasana. And you should be very careful in your food, in your sleep habits, keeping your mind calm so that you can overcome from the situation. So, you should have the food consciousness because we know that one, the tissues are loosening as a result of what will be the problems, we know that one. So, how to keep your skin tight? 
and generally for these growing ages and all that one one is vitamin deficiency iron deficiency or some kind of deficiency deficiency is very very common for the hair loss also it's very common and there are some glands which make some changes and all that one so because of all that it occurs so you must be very careful about the your food oiled food or salt intake the chili intake everything is to be balanced very properly so the nature is the best one so you have to face the follow the nature the nature as you grow it causes all kinds of situations so you have to be physically fit when you are physically fit you will be mentally alert and emotional balance and stress balance stress management are the most important very important for what we call this one they are crucial they are very crucial so that you can face this middle aged syndrome so generally what happens for most of the people old age is considered to be a retired life and in the old days they are not cared much they are not they are not taken into confidence once upon a time the person who was the most important decision making is pushed aside slowly because of the role change only for the name name sake the head of the family but what happens such people who are completely sidelined they will undergo lots of uh, mental stress this mental stress accelerates the aging so the best one is we have to understand our age and the role so you have to understand that one everyone has to understand that one as we grow in our age our roles change so the best one is you have to occupy yourself always you have to develop develop yourself with one kind of activity or another kind of activity which is which occupies your mind in a healthy way so a healthy mind means you should you will get healthy thoughts so you have to keep your healthy mind when your mind is very healthy the mind will never decrease decay what happens the blood supply also to the brain will be very active as before in 20s also some people become 60s and some people in 60s they become 20s also the reason is that one their activity levels the way they think they way do things and we know that one some of the people after they cross the 60 years of age they did wonders they created lots of wealth and that shows that one age is only a number age is not the matter the thing is how positively your mind is engaged any 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 constructive activity in a constructive activity positive activity so for that from your engage itself or from your child childhood itself you have to develop your own good habits either reading or doing something there are so many hobbies the music is there drawings are there paintings are there and whatever you like whatever you like so writings are there so you develop your own hobbies in a proper way since your childhood so children are to be taught not only the regular reading the regular academic work but also general reading general awareness and also you have to keep them mentally occupied in different with different games so that they will be very always very young and energetic so 
these habits are to be cultivated from the childhood itself. Suddenly nothing will come. Today you want to read it and tomorrow you want to go for the examination. You may pass in the examination, but life examination is not such. Life ex to pass in the life examination, the most important is your experience. You have to live every second of life in a useful way. So, to keep yourself fit, even though you cross your middle age, always what you have to do is, even though it is 40 years of age, 35 years, 65 years of age, 70 years of age, keep yourself engaged positively doing something, great things. I don't want to do great things. I want to do small things great. So your experience matters a lot. Use that in such a way that is useful to you, useful to the children, useful to future generation, connecting the future generation and the past generation, as well as keeping yourself fit, healthy, wealthy and wise. Thank you very much.